Hi, my name is Travis. I'm a PhD student here at uh, The Ohio State University. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spotted wing drosophila trap, which we have right here. So this is the final product. This is also an alternative version of the trap that you can make. If you're not as comfortable with the peanut butter jar, be it that you have a peanut butter allergy so you can't use a peanut butter jar. And this is also a little bit easier once we get to a part where we're going to be drilling. You're going to need red tape, peanut butter jar, a drill. If you're not using the peanut butter jar, you can use an iced tea bottle. String, this apple cider vinegar, and you're gonna need a little bit of hand soap. The first thing we need to do is we need to clean out the peanut butter jar. Soap and water works just fine, but if you have a little bit of help from a friend, uh, that can work as well. He's just going to take that away and go clean it for us someplace else. The first thing we're going to be doing once your supplies are gathered is drilling the peanut butter jar or your iced tea bottle or whatever jar that you're using in this project. We're going to put on our safety goggles to protect our eyes. The size drill bit we're using is a one quarter inch drill bit. We're going to do this until we get three fourths of the way around the bottle. Once you're finished drilling your holes around the sides of the bottle, what you need to do is drill a hole in the top for the string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill two holes so that the string goes through a little bit easier. So we have our string fed through the holes, and now we tie the string, and we have a trap that can hang. The next thing we're gonna do is put a strip of red tape around the bottom of the bottle. We're putting about an inch and a half worth of tape around the bottom of this bottle to act as an attractant for the spotted wing drosophila. This gives the image of a uh, raspberry. If you're using bigger holes like in this bottle, the drywall tape will cover the holes that you've made and make it small enough that only the spotted wing drosophila and small things will get in rather than large insects that are going to just fill up your bottle. So once you have your tape on, fill your jar with apple cider vinegar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this apple cider vinegar and we're going to put about an inch of apple cider vinegar in the bottom of this jar. You're going to add just one drop of soap. So we have apple cider vinegar in the bottom of this jar, one drop of soap, and we're gonna put our lid back on. We will take it outside and we'll hang it up. We'll let it hang for about a week wherever it is, and then we'll take it down and we'll be able to check what we've caught. With that, Rocco and I would like to wish you luck catching your fruit flies.